One of the most mysterious and fascinating aspects of Greece's Byzantine history is the so-called Greek fire, or liquid fire. Western Romans called it Ignis Grecus, and it was no other than the powerful weapon that saved Constantinople multiple times from Arab and Rus invaders. The weapon was the most well-hidden secret of the Byzantine Empire. As the name suggests, Greek fire was an incendiary weapon, a highly flammable liquid consisting of secret ingredients. It was used to start fires and destroy the enemy's vessels and equipment and for inflicting serious injuries, either by throwing it from above or by spraying it with a device that resembled a flamethrower. The latter was called Hirosiphon and, as the name suggests, could be held as a gun. It is also estimated that liquid fire was used in ceramic grenades as well. What makes this weapon exceptional is that it was used in naval battles since the liquid was reportedly water-resistant. The ships that carried it were usually the Dromon type. Other empires also used the weapons that produced fire, but the Greek patent was considered the most powerful in medieval times. It was especially feared by European crusaders. At the time, the weapon had its own shortcomings. It was hard pointing it to a specific target, especially when it was windy. Ignis Grecus, as it was called by the Westerns, was mostly used for defense purposes. Due to its destructive powers, people feared it similarly to how people fear nuclear weapons today. Emperor Romanos II had insisted that the weapon should never fall at the wrong hand. It should be protected similarly to how Byzantine princesses and the imperial regalia are protected. It is estimated that liquid fire was created around 672 AD by a Christian Greek architect and chemist named Kalinikos. Kalinikos had sought refuge in Constantinople after escaping Syria some years earlier. Assyrians were reportedly using incendiary arrows since the 9th century BC, but it is not clear whether he got the inspiration for the liquid fire from them. Ancient Greeks were also reportedly using flammable substances to attack their enemies. Thucydides mentions that the long tube on wheels which blew flames was used in the seeds of Delium in 424 BC. Other civilizations had also come up with their own flamethrowers. Kalinikos, however, came up with a substance that was allegedly more powerful and destructive than anything they had ever seen before. It is worth mentioning, though, that the British chemist and historian J.R. Partington has a different theory for the invention of the Greek fire. According to him, several Byzantine chemists who had inherited the discoveries of the Alexandrian chemical school contributed to the weapon's creation. The formula behind liquid fire was a guarded military secret. The secrecy surrounding the weapon hasn't helped historians discover its ingredients. Any formula you might have heard is based on speculations. One theory says that the main ingredient was saltpeter. Other theories suggest that the fire resulted by the combination of water and quicklime. Modern historians suspect sulfur, alcohol, resins, naphtha, coal from a willow tree, animal fat and other ingredients. Do you know any other theories? You can leave a comment down below. Now, if you are new here, feel free to subscribe and check the rest of my videos. In the description you will find many helpful links and I will see you again on Monday.